Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick with Okie Doki Creations. Past couple videos, we've made some really cool DIY sci-fi buildings. Check those out. I have some electrical game box gang boxes. And some more advanced with some 3D printed Greeblies, some more um, advanced weathering techniques, and some airbrush work. And today we are going to work on making some scatter terrain pipes and elevated walkways they are going to be super cool. So let's check it out. So for our walkways, we're going to use this cross stitching mesh, also known as gra granny grating. We used that previously on the sides of our DIY buildings to kind of give it some industrial mesh look, industrial grating. Um, for these buildings. So it's pretty simple. Let me show you the process. This is what it's gonna look like before it's primed. And because it's a grid, all I did was put one square in the middle and left the little nubs along the outside and super glued it together. So let me show you how to make these. Now this stuff I've got, I already primed one side of it. I was really just kind of experimenting with um, spray paints a while back. And this stuff is okay, but it's not perfect. I don't even remember what it was. But once we get it um, assembled, we'll, we'll hang everything and spray bomb it again to prime it. All right, here we go. Now we got two pieces of cross stitch mesh that are the same size. Next, we're gonna take our, these are gonna be our middle pieces. You can see it's just one row of squares and then it's got, I just left all the nubs. I didn't, I cut it on the outside, outside. Hopefully this is enough. So, just come through here and you just push one square into each of the holes. Pretty easy. And this is the part where we start super gluing our fingers together. So just a little, little dab on the corners, kind of hold it in place. Okay, and then what you can do is kind of hold it in the middle and start hitting that with some super glue. So you can see so you can see with our Necron for scale it looks pretty good. Yeah, move from one to the next. All right, now that we have everything primed with this flat black Rust-Oleum, let's hit it with some silver dry brushing. My favorite dry brushes by far are just cheap makeup brushes. Get the, they're nice and soft. Um, if you really mess one up, you, they're easy to replace for a dollar or two, and they are amazing at dry brushes because they're soft and uh, they just work great. So we're just gonna use a little bit of this model color silver. You can absolutely use craft paint, but uh, apparently I am out of silver craft paint, so we're using the good stuff today. But that's absolutely unnecessary. Imagine setting up some of these for a kill team board. I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what you think. All right, so what are these pipes we're gonna build? The Warhammer 40K Wiki 
calls them Promethium Relay Pipes, and they're used by Imperial Industrial Complexes around the galaxy to move the potent petrochemical fuel known as Promethium from storage and refining facilities to the manufacturia that rely upon it for both power generation and as a key chemical component of the manufacturing process. Pretty neat, cool stuff. And this is gonna be a super easy project and let's get into it. So basically we're just gonna use some half inch PVC pipe, okay, just regular old half inch PVC and some fittings and some fittings. So for this project, we're gonna use these T fittings and some 90 degree fittings. There are, I didn't do a good job on these. You can still see I didn't trim off any of the words that are molded into them. So that's probably gonna be the first thing we're gonna do on these. So let's shave all of these off with a hobby knife and then we'll sand them flat. Doesn't take much to sand. We're just gonna use some 220. Next one, some 400. See some X 400. That's pretty smooth, but we got another one, so we might as well use it. Some thousand grit. There we have it. So our three quarter one is glued together. Half inch one is glued together. Now let's add some details. We are gonna be using, okay, let's get this place cleaned up a little bit. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna I'm gonna encourage you guys, everybody, to always save everything. So these were passes from a convention we went to over the summer, and they are some great, like plastic card. Um, and we're gonna chop them up for some details. So we just got our little paper slicer thing here. This really works great for all sorts of cutting jobs. One pass, it'll slice this stuff like butter. So, just make some thin strips. Also, use some of our cross stitch mesh. This stuff is so handy. We've been using it a lot. Not only does it look good and really industrial, kind of it's kind of a unifying thing that'll help tie everything together. One inch pieces. The cutting mat or whatever. I think this could be pretty easily done with scissors also. Super uniform either. Sweet, we'll let all that dry and we'll go prime it. We'll hit it with this Color Max flat black we've been using. Stuff's great. So, all right, now that we got everything 
both of these primed up, let's work on getting them painted. So the, the GW color for their pipes is called Doom, Doom Bull Brown for my research. I don't have any of that. So we're gonna use this red rust color for the pipes. And then for the fittings, we're gonna use kind of this orange spiced pumpkin, some red spice, and then some silver. I don't have any silver craft paint for some reason. So we're gonna use the good stuff. But first, let's get these pipes painted up. Craft paint covers so poorly. All right, absolutely terrible coverage. This is the fourth coat. And to speed it up between coats, speed up drying time between coats, um, I use this heat gun set on the lowest setting. Um, something I've heard Ninjon talk about before. So I didn't have a, didn't want to steal my wife's hair dryer. So I had this in the garage and it seems to work pretty well. Just obviously don't go crazy with it if you're going to try the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna call the pipes done. That's four coats, pretty decent coverage after that many coats. But, uh, so let's move on to the fittings. And for those, we're gonna do a couple steps. We're gonna do this like kind of Orange color first, and then we're going to use this red spice. It's kind of a neutral brown color, and then over the top of it, we'll do some silver. And we're going to do most of that with sponges to kind of give a real, I don't know, rusted, weathered effect. Let's check it out. Well, next up, I was gonna use this red spice, but I think I'm gonna use this burnt sienna. It is just a little bit more brown, a little bit less red. And I think it's going to work better. This could absolutely be done with silver craft paint. I just don't have any. Or I can't find it. All right, so to kind of help tie everything together, we're gonna to use the same metallic gold that we used on this on top of these. The light. There we go. We got one more final step and then we're gonna call these done. All right, with our pipes, everything dried, last step is going to be to add a little bit of an oil wash. This is a DIY wash I made, super easy. And 
Uh, let's see how it does. I'm just gonna. Yeah, it's a little thick. Here's what we're gonna do. Sometimes these DIY washes get a little thick. They get a little thick because the, I think the mineral spirits evaporates. So we're just gonna put a little splash mineral spirits in there. Squirt a little bit of that in there too. That helps a lot. Okay. So with that, oh yeah, much better. That's really gonna run a lot more. We don't need it to be too much, just that oil wash. Really kind of like magic. helps grunge it all together. Grunge it all up together. Let me know, what do you guys think? Do you guys use oil washes? I know a lot of people like the uh, watered down craft paint, like the 10 to one black craft paint, but I kinda, I kinda like these oil washes. Let me know in the comments what you all use. And if you have something that's better either always looking for new stuff stuff's pretty thin I don't even know if it's gonna do much all right th there we have it with our oil wash dry our pipes look amazing these are gonna be some really cool scatter train for um, Kill Team games, Necromunda games, other 40K games, any anything sci-fi. And these platforms we made to go from the top of one building to another really helps, <laughs> pun intended, elevate our game. So uh, enough, enough dumb jokes. Let's get this video finished up. So like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you, what you would use in your games. And do what you always do, everyone. Go out and make something cool. I'll see you next time.